To land your dream job, the first thing you need is an impactful resume. Yes, a single piece of paper that can make or break your chances of getting hired. And building this perfect resume can be a painful task. And uh, if you are applying for multiple roles, you will need separate versions of your resume multiplying the pain you may come across. Apart from figuring out the resume pointers that will go into your resume, the second part of this challenge is to select the right resume template. For this, you might have to go through hundreds of websites online before finding the right template for you. Now that's something that scares the best of us, right? Wouldn't it be nice to have a friend who can guide you through this entire process? Well, what if that friend could be AI? I mean, why not? And in this video, I'll show you how to build an impactful resume from scratch with the help of absolutely free AI tools including ChatGPT and more. So let's begin. For this demonstration, I'll be helping my good friend Pooja in uh, building her resume. This is her profile. Uh, last year, she earned her bachelor's degree in technology and currently she is working as an intern and looking for a full-time job within the field of data science. Well, for building your resume with AI, I'll be showing you not one, not two, but three different methods wherein the first one might require some bit of coding, but it's the fastest among the three we'll discuss today. Second one is for uh, everyone, for all of us, and is probably the simplest of the three we are discussing today. And then there is a bonus method, which I'll reveal towards the end of the video. So without further delay, let's jump straight into it. So here's the first method where we'll be writing the resume using ChatGPT and uh, then creating a beautiful PDF out of it using Latex, which is a document preparation system. And as I said, this method number one will require uh, some bit of understanding of coding. So let's get started. Uh, for getting the resume written with ChatGPT, this is the prompt that we'll be using. So over here, this is what I'm writing. Uh, I'm asking ChatGPT to build a resume for me in Latex using a fancy looking template. Uh, then I'm giving the profile details of Pucha, uh, letting ChatGPT know her name, uh, the bachelor's degree uh, that she has done from this specific university. It's a dummy name I've taken. And uh, then I'm also specifying that currently she's looking for a data science job. I'm also specifying the name of the projects. And currently Pooja is working as a data science intern with XYZ Limited. Again, a dummy name. I'm explicitly asking ChatGPT to fill in all the gaps that are there uh, in this profile write-up that I've given. And again, I am specifying that I need a fancy, colorful Latex resume. So now what I need to do is I'll just copy this entire prompt and I'll feed it to ChatGPT. All right, our Latex code uh, is now with us. Let's copy it. And uh, now we'll head over to another tool, which is overleaf.com. Over here, you may create uh, an account using Google or uh, you may also sign up with your email address. I already have an account uh, with them. I'll just log in. All right, once you are inside Overleaf, the first thing you have to do is to create a new project. I'll call it my resume. All right, now we are in our uh, project, my resume. All I have to do now is to copy the uh, code that we received from ChatGPT and I compile it. And there you have it, a beautiful looking uh, first version of your resume created within a span of a minute or so. As I said a while back, this first method would require a bit of uh, coding understanding. What I meant by that is that now when you have this text documented within this uh, resume PDF, I can make changes to it now. For example, let's say I want to change this uh, title from data scientist to data science professional. I can just make the change in the code and I can hit compile and the changes are made over here. Right. And similarly, let's say uh, apart from this bachelor degree that I mentioned, let's say uh, Pooja has also done a master's degree. So all I need is a separate section uh, for uh, the master's degree. Let's say I call it master of technology from PQR University, let's say, and again, I run compile. So this way you could make changes to this uh, resume to uh, make it suitable for your liking. Let me show you another cool thing that you can do uh, on this resume that we have just gotten developed uh, for Pooja. Let's say now I want to adapt this uh, resume template to Nilanjan, right? Nilanjan is currently looking for a software engineering job. He is working as an intern right now with uh, a company called MNO Limited. He did his uh, graduation from PQR University and uh, he wants his latex uh, resume to be written by ChatGPT. Now all Nilanjan have to do is just copy this uh, template 
feed it to ChatGPT and under the sample latex template just copy this uh, template that uh, is provided in this document by the way i'll be sharing this uh, uh, google document with all of you i'll find a link to this in the description part of this video and i'll just feed this over here and i'll run i'll just copy this entire uh, template come back to latex remove this code i add in the updated code that we have and i hit compile get ready to surprised you see this entire template that I showed you a while back for Pooja Sina, now it is updated for Nilanjan Pol who wants to uh, become a software engineer. All the education, experience, skills, projects, interests, etc. have gotten updated as per Nilanjan's career aspiration which is to become a software engineer. How cool is that? Alright, let's get started with method number 2 now. As I told you, this method number 2 is for all of us and it's the simplest among the three we are going to discuss today. For this method number two, we'll be writing the resume using ChatGPT and then we'll create a beautiful looking resume out of it using Canva. So let's get started. Let me just copy this uh, ChatGPT prompt that I have written for you. Uh, I'll go to ChatGPT and I'll feed it to ChatGPT. While ChatGPT is writing the resume for me, separately I'll go to canva.com. Canva as you may know is a free design tool that you may use for uh, any of your requirements like resume building uh maybe creating an instagram story or a youtube thumbnail all you have to do to get started with resume building is that search with this tag called uh, resume template and canva will throw all of these bunch of options for you now there's another cool thing about uh, uh, canva that rather than choosing a template from these bunch of options that i have with me rather what you can do is just feed your uh, profile picture to canva and this magic design tool will give you a bunch of options customized for your requirement with the power of ai uh, and within this magic design tool you may choose a certain theme let's say a corporate or a professional or work or education and you may also choose a color theme let's say you want to go with uh, uh, this palette of colors or this there are a whole bunch of options that you may play around with in this particular demonstration, I'll go with uh, this particular template which seemed to be simple yet elegant. Let me just click on this and we'll start customizing this template for our use case which is to build a cool looking resume for uh, Pooja. So to start with, I would want to do some basic housekeeping on this uh, uh, resume template. We know that Pooja is uh, having uh, uh, a single work experience. We don't need uh, the additional two. I'll just remove them. Even in education, she has a single degree. I can remove the additional one and I can just drag this entire thing a little up. And apart from this, because Pooja is a fresher, she may want to showcase some of the projects she may have done. For that, I'll add a section on projects. Education, I'll rename it to projects. I mean, get rid of this year and I can align this thing. All right, now let's start updating this template that we have from Canva with the resume that ChatGPT has written for us. First, I'll update the name followed by the headline. All right, for profile summary, I'll head over to ChatGPT, copy this text and we're done. Now, just like profile, let me update experience, education and projects. All right, next up, let's update the contact information and lastly, the skills and you may choose the level of proficiency by coloring these boxes like this. So this is how the final resume looks like. Once done, you may go to share, download and click download and you will have your resume downloaded in your personal machine. All right, let's summarize whatever we have done till now. First up, we discussed this method number one where we wrote our resume using ChatGPT asked ChatGPT to give us a latex code for our resume and then we went on to overleaf.com to uh, get a beautiful PDF out of uh, that latex code. That was method number one. Second up, we uh, got our uh, resume written from ChatGPT again and then we headed over to Canva to get a beautiful looking resume uh, out of uh, the text that we created. Guys, I hope you are enjoying this video so far. Hit on that like button and uh, subscribe to our channel before I reveal the third method to you. So here's the bonus method number three, where uh, we will write the resume using ChatGPT in a JSON format and we'll use a free tool uh, reactive resume to get a PDF out of it. Here's the ChatGPT prompt that will be feeding ChatGPT. Let's just copy it. 
and I feed it to ChatGPT. Now, the next thing we have to do is to copy this JSON code and uh, paste it in a notepad or a text editor, whatever you may have in your local machine, or you may head over to an online JSON editor and uh, save a JSON file uh, out of this code in your local machine like this. I'll just call it resume.json and I'll save it. As you may see, the resume file is downloaded in my machine. Now, as second step, what I have to do is I'll head over to Reactive Resume, create a free account uh, using your uh, Google credentials. Once you are here, choose this import from external sources option, hit on the upload JSON and select the resume.json file that uh, would have been saved in your local disk and just upload it. Let's see what we have. As you may see, Pooja's uh, resume has been structured into this uh, nice looking template over here. If you want, you may change the template like this. The best thing about this method number three is that you get absolute customization option on the resume you have prepared for yourself. I'll show you how. First of all, let me add Pooja's image in this uh, resume that we have. Secondly, let's say I want to make some changes to the work experience that uh, is shown here. And by the way, if you want to make changes to the summary, it's absolutely customizable. As I said, you can update the address. Let's say I want to add uh, the address line number one and it's updating in real time over here. You may also update uh, the social media handles that have been ingested by ChatGPT. And for work experience, you may uh, change the text that has been prepared by ChatGPT or you may add additional work experience if you may have any. Similar way for education, uh, right now we only have the uh, bachelor's degree if you want uh, to add your master's degree you may do it uh, easy way to do that is just click on this uh, uh, education button and uh, add your credentials and same goes with uh, the skills let's say in Python you want to uh, increase your uh, level of understanding you may just do it from this toggle button that is there and just edit your skill and this thing gets updated well there you have it three awesome resume building methods using AI which of these three methods did you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. So what are you waiting for? Go out there, use these tools and bring that dream role home. Good luck to you. Bye.